Assalamu alaikum everybody. This is a presentation video to demonstrate our work on the universal control. Our team consists of four computer science and engineering students in the German University in Paris. We thought about implementing an entertaining gadget that can be easily used in exploiting all these mistakes. We have seen a lot of cool ideas that uses the RGB address with LED strip. So we thought about using it and adding some interactivity to it to make some fun games. First of all, we began by setting up the LED strip. Then we, we used the push buttons to test it. After that, we thought of improving our user experience by moving to use the PlayStation 4 controller. Then we added sound to the game to make it more fun. In the next minute, we are going to show you how the main setup works. We started by the initial connections of the LED strip. Then we connected the USB host shield to the Arduino board to interact with the controller. On the first trial, we were using Bluetooth Doom, but it didn't work due to, due to some incompatibility with the USB host shield library version 2. So we used the normal USB cable. Our LED strips connect, consists of three con connectors. The first one is the ground, the second one is the power supply, and the third one is the data input which is connected to bin 3. By using the host shield library version 2, we were able to detect the hits on the control. To control our LED strip, we used the pass LED library, which allows us to, go to, to access every uh, LED by its address. And then we start thinking about our game logic, which is ping pong. We broke the game into, into several phases, uh, starting from building only the ball and then the bats, and then making the, the ball move from, from right to left. And then, last but not least, the interaction between the bat and the ball. After that, we thought about we need to keep score for uh, for the game, so uh, we decided to buy an, uh, an LCD to keep uh, record for, for the score. And then, to keep the, the 1D theme for the game, we cut uh, a half meter from the LED strip, and then we made an extension here. So these are the three wires for the half meter uh, LED strip. So we connected the, the, the voltage pin to the voltage pin coming from the Arduino, and then the, the ground to the common ground with the Arduino board, and then the, the data pin to pin number four to be able to, to, to read data and write data on the uh, LED strip. We start the ball position by the middle of strip 1. Strip 1 is our main strip that we use to, uh, to uh, display the game. And then we, we, we draw the bat each time a player uh, pressed its, its button. And each player has a different color uh, of bat. So player 1 has a color uh, of green and then player 2 has color uh, blue. And then we reset the ball position each round and we change the, the velocity of the ball uh, randomly either to go to the right or go to the left. After that, each time a player scores a goal, we increment this player's score and then we uh, keep track of the game round. When the game round reaches its final uh, round, which is uh, round 29, we keep track of the player's score, uh, player 1 score and player 2. and. Uh, if, if player 1 uh, scores mo more than player 2, the whole strip will, will be uh, the color of this uh, player. And so, and so on goes for, for the other player. Uh, we control the player 1 uh, bat using the, uh, the PS4 uh, controller, uh, controller uh, button left and the other player uh, uses the button circle. We also added another game which is called the balancing game which consists of a player that moves throughout the whole red strip back and forth continuously. We also spawn a lot of targets randomly which the player has to collect before it's banished. If the, play, if the, if the target vanished before the player collects it, the, the player loses a point. Uh, otherwise, he gets a point if he collected it before it vanished. Since I had the task of optimizing the code, I grouped all the strip functionalities in a class called strip and I also initialized two objects out of it. The first one represents the whole game, and the second one represents the score strip. You can find in the class called balancinggame.h all the code related to the second game. In this game, we used uh, many targets, so we had to create a separate objects for them. This object is responsible for spawning them and destroying them, and also collision detection. Finally, we integrated the two games in one module, enabling switching between them using the controller. Also, we needed to activate the sound effects, but we didn't find any speaker modules in Egypt, so we used the serial port. 
to print or send some data uh, on the needed events and activate the sound through a simple Python script on our computer. Here we have the integration between the, the two games in the main sketch, including the logic of both games, running the setup and the loop based on the game mode that we uh, changed using the controller. Also, we have the script, the Python script that uh, triggers the sound effects based on the data. We use PySerial and PyGLET to uh, PyGLET to uh, load the sound effects and Serial to uh, Py PySerial to read the uh, serial data from the USB port. Uh, these effects, these bytes that uh, that we are reading, are triggered in the game logic here. Each game sends some. Each game, uh, each game sends some data to trigger the appropriate or the uh, relative sound effect. To. So here is a live demonstration of the game. This is the ping pong game. And as you can see, it's controlled by the controller to draw the bats. The score is displayed right here on the second LED strip. and reading the actions from the serial port, activate the sound. And here what happens when one game, the, when one wins the game. Switch the mode. We can switch the mode using the R1 button on the controller to activate the balancing game. And as you can see, the target spawn randomly on the uh, strip. And the player is trying to collect them by pressing the cross button when he is in the range of the target. And also, the score is displayed on the score 